Hello everyone, James Breen again with EFI and sharing another fiery tip with you. So um, recently I was asked uh, about a customer who wanted to <clears throat> take a, a rather large um, PDF file <clears throat> and they wanted to program the fiery to tell the, the job to, um, uh, to every four pages to make it a booklet and let's just say, for example, this was a 3,000-page file. And really, the 3,000 pages, actually, let's make it a 4,000-page file. Uh, the 4,000 pages represented 1,000 variable pages. So what that meant was this was a booklet, a four-page booklet, front and back, front and back, so two sheets that um, was going to get folded and, and goes in the mail with some address. So the variable is the addressing information. So 4,000 pages made it 1,000 records, all right? And every four pages, they need this to fold and staple like a booklet. Um, but they didn't know how to tell the Fiery to do that. <clears throat> so let me show you real quick how you can do this. So uh, I'm going to click on this, this file here, which is a 29-page uh, document. And I'm going to right click and I'm going to go <clears throat> into Impose. Since I know this is going to be a booklet, I'm going to use Impose to make this a booklet. Okay, so I'm going to start just like I normally would to make a booklet. I'm going to say booklet here, but I'm going to change some things. I'm not doing a saddle stitch, I'm going to do a nested saddle stitch. <clears throat> and if you watch what happens here, you'll notice that because I'm doing a nested saddle stitch, I also have the ability right here to tell it how big my subset size is. So what that means is um, where do you want the finishing to take place in the size of this overall document? Well, first thing I'm going to do is let's make this as an even number. I'm going to delete this page right here. All right, that way we have an even number. And I'm going to leave my sheet size, at, uh, my subset sheet size at two, but you can see that I can change it. And as I do, it changes um, how my subsets are set up on this guy. Uh, then all I'm going to do is say, save this job back to the queue. And then all I have to do is come into my properties here. And under finishing, multi half fold, center staple. When I do that, and now I print this job, it's going to um, every four sheets is going to allow me uh, to or pages, excuse me, every four pages it's going to allow me to fold and staple those and do each booklet individually by record length. So hope that helps you. Um, don't forget about that nested saddle stitch feature. It's a cool, neat little feature that it could be useful in a variable booklet especially. All right, that's a quick one. Thanks, guys.